One thing that I did not cover in this week's lecture that I felt is worth exploring is just the backgrounds of each of the four authors who you've read. Some of this, I think, is evident in their writing, and some of it would just be helpful to know. So before you do this wiki activity, just a little bit about each individual that will maybe help guide how you write about them. So first is Chester Finn. Uh, he is the president of the Thomas Fordham Foundation. Uh, the Fordham Foundation has nothing to do with Fordham University in New York, uh, but is a conservative think tank concerned with education in the U.S. Uh, he was a professor of education at Vanderbilt University, and he was the assistant secretary for research and improvement in the U.S. Department of Education under Reagan. Um, and maybe you noted in the reading his frustration with teacher educators who are inspired by progressives like John Dewey. So, you know, I think in a lot of circles the idea of progressive education is simply assumed as a good. Um, Chester Finn certainly does not agree with those folks. One person who would, though, is Henry Giroux, writing in 1985. He's a founding theorist of what's called critical pedagogy. Right? And the definition of critical pedagogy is a continuous process of what's called unlearning, learning, and relearning, reflection, evaluation, and the impact that these actions have on students, in particular students whom they believe have been historically and continue to be disenfranchised by traditional schooling. So Giroux uh, was professor at BU and at Miami and at Penn State, widely published. Um, this text in particular is one that just kind of everybody has to read if they become a teacher. Uh, he was a social studies teacher for six years over in Rhode Island before going into higher education. Consider when he's writing. 1985, A Nation at Risk has been published, the Reagan Revolution is going on, um, so it's sort of this tide of conservatism. Um, if you recall Horace Mann's efforts to um, make common schools common and benefit of all, well, Giroux is suggesting that the opposite is happening in the 1980s. He also thinks that teachers are being criminally deprofessionalized. Think of the phrase, those who can't do, teach. He's sort of railing against that attitude towards education. Um, unlike Finn, Giroux references Dewey as a positive example for teacher education and preparation. Okay, Jonathan Goodlad is an educational researcher and theorist. He's a professor at Emory University and before that at the University of Chicago and UCLA. Um, in Praise of Education uh, is his big work. It defines education as a fundamental right in democratic societies, essential to developing individual and collective democratic intelligence. That should sound very familiar. Um, he's looking at the same data as Chester Finn, but coming to very different conclusions. Right, the amount of time spent in schools versus the amount of time not in schools and the impact that that has on the way that children think. And finally, Nell Noddings. She's a feminist, a philosopher, a theorist. She's at Stanford University. She's emeritus. She's, she's basically retired. She's in her 90s at this point. Um, she was a math teacher and a principal for 17 years before going into higher education. And she's concerned with ethics in education, hence the focus on caring. Note, like like John Goodlad, she's looking at some of the same evidence that Finn is looking at, but, but coming to different conclusions. Notice she talks about critiquing gangster rap as opposed to Finn's outright denial of its relevance to the curriculum. Okay, so that's a bit about each of them as you look at this wiki activity and add your thoughts to the uh, theorists that you've been assigned to.